District of Columbia, they filed a lawsuit against the Proud Boys because of their actions on January 6th. Here is Attorney General Carl Racine making the announcement today. Specifically, we're bringing this lawsuit pursuant to local and federal laws, including the Ku Klux Klan Act of 1871, a Reconstruction era federal law designed to protect our country against violent conspiracies, protect our citizens against violent conspiracies, like the attack that took place on January 6. In the complaint, which has been filed and is public, we specifically allege that these vigilantes, insurrectionists, and masters of a lawless mob conspired against the District of Columbia, its law enforcement officers, and residents by planning, promoting, and participating in the violent attack on the United States Capitol. We further allege the named defendants caused substantial and provable damage to the District of Columbia, and in particular to our courageous law enforcement officers who risked their lives, and some even died, to defend the Capitol, the District, and our country's freedoms. As the independent attorney general, I have the responsibility to enforce our laws and hold these violent defendants accountable because they cause actual physical and financial harm to our city, its employees, and our residents. Now, the suit names several specific individuals accused of plotting the riot, outlines the events leading up to the riot, and accuses the groups of using the election results to recruit new members and using coordinated violence to intimidate the public and government. All right, folks, back to that whole Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. Once upon a time, there lived a princess with really long hair who was waiting for a prince to come save her. But really, who has time for that? Let's go. Fill on myself. She ordered herself a ladder with Prime one day delivery, and she was out of there. Now, her hairdressing empire is killing it. And the prince, well, who cares? Prime changed everything. Folks, Black Star Network is here. I'm real um, revolutionary right now. Bow. Support this man, Black Media. He makes sure that our stories are told. I thank you for being the voice of Black America, Rollins. I love y'all. All momentum we have now, we have to keep this going. The video looks phenomenal. See, this difference between Black Star Network and Black-owned media and something like CNN. You can't be Black-owned media and be scared. It's time to be smart. Bring your eyeballs home. You dig? 